What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know that. And in today's video, we are showcasing a Shadow Rider Calyrex team that also features Mudsdale. Recently, I've been trying to like, get a good mixture of meta teams and off meta teams, and I feel like I've been doing really good with that, bringing you guys some really strong teams for the Master Ball tier, and also bringing you guys some really fun teams for the Master Ball tier. But today's video and this team right here is a little bit of best of both worlds. We got a nice little strong Shadow Calyrex meta team, alongside with a few off meta Pokemon like Mudsdale and Nihilego. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. Only takes a second of your guys' time to support me. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you're out of your mind. Yo, scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Chances are this isn't your first first video that you watch on my channel. So if you've been watching me and you're not subscribed, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Shadow Rider Calyrex. This Pokemon's an absolute beast. Top tier in this meta, cannot go wrong with it. We got the as one ability, and then we got the spell tag as this item. And if you do not know what the spell tag does it's basically a life orb for ghost moves it just boosts the damage of ghost moves so it's really really good for astral barrage making it do more damage and picking up even more ko's we also have substitute in this move set psy shock and protect that's one thing i would change would i would instead of psy shock i would give this thing an expanding force because it just pairs so well especially when indeedy is on the team just like in this one but it is what it is Next Pokemon, we got the My Shell over here. Great lead, great all around. It has Fake Out, Close Combat for Stab, Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves, and Faint for its final move. Also has that Inner Focus so it can't be Fake Out or Intimidated, and then it's Focus Sash as its item. Middle left is another sleeper pick. I feel like Nihilego rides like the fine line of like not meta, but not off meta. Like he's like right in between. Super strong Pokemon and really, really good in my opinion. We got the Beast Boost ability. We're throwing this thing to Power Herb for his item so we can use Meteor Beam in one turn. And usually every time you use Meteor Beam, most of the time you're picking up a big KO. You're doing a mass amount of damage because you get that special attack boost. Plus the base power on this move is huge and it is also stabbed for Nihilego. So like I said, most of the time you're going to be picking up an early KO and just rolling out with the battle after that. We also have Sludge Bomb for Stab. Power Gem for our other stab rock move and protect as our final move. Right next to him is going to be our support mon and our surge control, which is going to be Indeedy. Got the psychic surge as its ability and the psychic seize as its item, so we get that special defense boost once we pop into that battle with her. Follow me, expanded force, shadow ball, and protect for its moveset. Fairly normal, really, really like Indeedy, and it's just a great Pokemon to control the battle. Bottom left corner is a Pokemon I'm really hyped about, and that is Mudsdale over here. We got Inner Focus with this thing and Rocky Helmet as his item. Mudsdale is such a cool Pokemon, very, very bulky, and I just think he's really solid all around. I remember back in, like, I think it was, like, Series 7. It was, like, 6 or 7. I used to use a Mudsdale team, and that was, like, my bread and butter. I went on, like, a 13-game win streak. I was pushing really high in the ranks. I was using Mudsdale and Grimmsnarl, and, it, and my Mudsdale had Stamina, and uh, what was the other thing? I forget, it was, no, it might not have been Salmon, it might have been Inner Focus, yeah, so we don't get the, uh, so we don't get confused. And I was just giving it attack boost with Swaggers and rolling out from there and just dominating the battle. It was super, super strong, and I missed that team so much, but this, uh, Mudsdale has the moveset of High Horsepower, Body Press, Heavy Slam, and Protect, which I think is the best moveset for him, personally. It's just really good all around, have a few good coverage moves, and it has a really strong stab move. Final Pokemon for this team is going to be Galarian Moltres. Still very, very strong, and I think he's just like Nihilego. He's not meta, but he's not off meta. He's riding that fine line in between. He has the Berserk ability, Safety Goggles as his item, and then we got Nasty Plot to set up, Fiery Wrath for its stab move, Air Slash for another stab move, and Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Metal Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with the Shadow Rider Calyrex and Mudsdale team. Let's try to start off on a strong note with the W. We're hopping into our first battle for today's video. Going up against the Yavelta team. Pretty strong team. Pretty meta as well. He has the Regilecki, the Incineroar, the Amoongus, the Stock Attacker for Trick Room. And then the final Pokemon is going to be that Sheer Force Landorus. Pretty strong Pokemon. Pretty strong team all around. But hopefully we catch ourselves this win and get started. But um, who should I start off with? Who should I, who should I lead with? That's a real question. I think my shell is decent. Could go Calyrex as well. Calyrex isn't bad. Super fast with a fake out and going into an astral barrage. Could really do us work. Could really do work for us. I think that's going to be my play. Calyrex into my shell. Tries to get off with a strong lead. If he does go in the trick room, I really want my Mudsdale in the back end. And then final Pokemon. I'm thinking it's going to be Nihilego. Or it might be Moltres. I think Nihilego might have to take the cake here. Super strong all around. Just a great Pokemon. And he's pretty fast. And he can do a lot of work on a lot of these Pokemon. So I think it's going to be the player. I think it's going to be a play. Bring in my Ultra Beast, and we're going to get rocking out here and grab ourselves that win. But let me get question of the day out the way. Considering some videos, I totally forget about it, and I just wait till the end and say it. But I really like to do it in the beginning of the video. So let me know in the comment section down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the new leaks 
for Decidueye in Pokemon Unite. Considering new data mines just came out there and they just found out that Decidueye is possibly or most likely the next Pokemon being released in Pokemon Unite. And I'm a pretty big fan. I, I can get down with it. Granted, I would rather have Sceptile because I like him a lot more or Empoleon. But Decidueye is really cool. I just feel like he can be very versatile. And he can have a really cool moveset with his bow and arrow. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. He's going to end up leading these two. Which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. And I think in this case we just fake out on the Vegeleki. And we pop off with this Astral Barrage into this uh, Yvelta. Or I could swap. Or I could hard swap. Or I could sub. Or I could sub up. Or in my opinion I might just go into here. Hmm. What should I do? Should I fake out the Yvelta instead? Went through Psy Shock. Uh, I think we fake out the Yvelta instead. What, what, what do I really want to do here? Yeah, let's fake out the Yvelta. And we're going to start chipping away here. We're going to start chipping away. The Yvelta just poses such a big threat. Red's like he's going to protect as well. Is it going to be a double protect? It could potentially be one. Let's see. It is not. So good call by me to swap it last second. Red's like he protects. Astro Barrage is going to fly through here. He's going to get blocked there. And it is going to hit up on the Yvelta. And I wonder how much damage it is going to do here. I wonder how much damage it is going to do here. Nothing. The Yvelta, I got to remember, it's super, super bulky. He also flinches, so I could go for the hard swap here. Which I might do into the mud cell, maybe. Thinking the ground moves coming across. And that's, that's I'm swapping for the my shell. What am I doing? I'm swapping for the my shell. I could go for a wide grab, but close combat might just be a play. Hitting hard on this red lucky, maybe taking him out. Let's do that. Let's go into the red lucky here, and I'm just gonna hard swap into the mud cell. Keep my Shadow Rider Calyx for the back end. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So we know the Yvelt is probably flying through. He could go for a Sucker Punch as well, because they, they usually rock him. I'm actually hoping he goes for a Sucker Punch. Goes for the E-Web. I knew I should have wide guard it. I had a feeling. I could have just wide guard it, but uh, that's totally fine. My Shadow is going to be able to soak up. And I think Yvelt is going for the uh, Mudsdale slot. He goes Oblivion Wing, and no, it doesn't. Wow. What a power move. What a power move there. Go after the My Shadow. What an absolute power move. I dig that. So it gets a super effective shot down onto it. Uh, I think another E-Web is flying, if I had to guess. Hmm. But cannot bring out the Calyx. Cannot bring out the Calyx. We're going to go to Nihilego here. We're going to start dropping in. It's a must. It's an absolute must. So Nihilego flying through here. I'm cool with him. I'm cool with him chilling out here. And we're just going to drop a heavy Meteor Beam right into the Shivalta. And then just go over onto the High Horsepower in the Regilecki. I wonder what he's going to do here, because I feel like we have the upper hand with these two, these two Pokemon, even though we took out my Mai Shao. I was expecting him to go into my Mudsdale, and that could have been huge if he did. Like, personally, I would have. I would have went into that Mudsdale slot. 100%. That could have rocked the Sucker Punch. I know he's having a Dark move out there. I could have just whooped on my Calyx. But, great read by him. But my plan was just a close combat into the, uh, into the Vegelike and just do big damage. He's going to swap it to the Incineroar, and I really, really like that. Because... A, I'm special attacking on my Nihil Lego, so that doesn't affect me. And B, Mudsdale has inner focus, so that's not going to affect him. And C, this Meteor Beam is going to be super effective. So he's going to hard swap, probably over into the Yvelta now. That was probably his play all along. And I'm just going to Meteor Beam, potentially take out this Incineroar, which could be huge. Which could be huge. Could definitely be huge for us, if we do take it out. So he's going to swap into the Lando instead, that still dodges this high horsepower. And Meteor Beam is flying. It is getting after it. I am getting after it with this thing. Love me some. Love me some Nihilego. This thing's an absolute beast. Really, really strong. We're going to be able to do this. Meteor Beam is going to drop. And we're going to get in. Get in there. Rish okay, right? Yeah, get him out of my face. Yo, we don't want him here. We don't want him here. This thing's done. Done zone. Get him out of my face. Real question is, who does he bring out? I can definitely see Yavelta coming out here. I don't know why. I can just see it so much. So, we take out the... Uh, Incineroar in one shot. He has three Pokemon left, and I don't know if this is looking good for us. If we can get rid of the Shivelta, it is looking good for us. But Regilecki, he's a pain, dude. He's a pain. Okay, so here's this. He could hard swap. I, I could totally see a hard swap coming. I'm definitely going to protect the him. And do I read the hard swap? Do I read the hard swap? I think he just hard swaps into... Uh, I think he just hard swaps into Yabelta, right? Hmm. I'm just gonna go into this. I think he hard swaps into Yabelta here. He does not, wow. 
Well, I could just high horsepower that thing and dump it. Just put it away. E Web's gonna fly through here. We won't get that block. It doesn't affect my Mudzell. Earth Power's gonna fly through here. So he was doubling down on my Nihil, I go. A little tough news. Heavy Slam is gonna come through here. Dude, we should have high horsepowered over into it. We're gonna play. We got off a nice move like that. That's huge. Uh, what do I do from here? Do I swap? I don't want to swap, but I need the Lego. This is tough. This is real tough. I think we just gotta somehow eat. Maybe go for a power gem. We go for another protect. I just don't see that happen. I just don't see our luck on our side right here. I'm just gonna go into a power gem here. High horsepower into this other slot. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. E Web's gonna fly through here. Doesn't affect Mudsdale, and it connects into you. E. Leave me alone. Eat this up, Nihil Lego. All day. Eat up this EP. All day, baby. He's not eating it up. I know that for a fact. He's dead. Knew it. <laughs> Nihil Lego gone. Gone. Get him out of here. High horsepower is going to be able to fly through here. And how's this one going to play out? We have high horsepower coming out here. If this thing's not Sash, of course it's Sash. Of course it's Sash, man. All right, so there's that. Uh, What's my play here? Got Shadow Rider Comics, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad at all. Uh, I gotta get rid of this, uh, I gotta get rid of this Regilecki here, so Protect's probably the play. Or I could sub up. I could sub up, but then he just takes out my sub, but... Protect's definitely the play here. He might, do you think he's gonna read the Protect? And I just sub up, regardless? Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Either Protect or Sub. One of them has to be the play. Do I read the... I think he might just slow down and double into me. But I think I just protect this turn and I get rid of Regilecki. Just so he doesn't slow me down for later turns. Then I just drop this heavy slam into this thing. Because he is on one. He is on one. So if he ends up swapping, better to do that. So then we saw the Lando. I'm cool with that. Dude, sub was our turn this turn. Sub was 100% our turn. We totally should have subbed up. Uh, I think we sub up next turn. That's what plays out. Regilecki's going to protect. Dude, if we would have subbed that turn... We would have subbed, man. We would have subbed up. Could have been the play. I think he just won it with that play. We should have subbed that turn. Substitute was the turn. Uh, I mean, we'll try to do it again. I might have to try for another protect here. I think he thinks we're going for an attack. I'm, I'm, I think I just subbed him. Just sub. I get rid of Reggie. Gotta get rid of Reggie, man. Gotta get rid of Reggie. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Maybe he tries to go for a Sucker Punch. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. He might be rocking Oblivion Wing Sucker Punch. There it is. There's Sucker Punch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All day. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here. We're gonna be able to soak that one up. And more importantly, we are going to be able to set up the substitute. That's huge. That is huge for us. We get sub out here. We can soak up a shot for next turn. And Body Press is gonna fly through. Here. There's our lovely little Body Press. He does go for the Sucker Punch. So we know what moves he's rocking. We know he has the Oblivion Wing, the Sucker Punch, the Protect, and whatever his last move is. Whatever his last move is, which could be maybe Snarl. I can see it being Snarl. But Landers is going to fly through here. And in this case, we're just dropping Astral Barrage to take out that Landers. And I think we just go... I think that takes out the Landers easily, right? And I think we just drop maybe a Heavy Slam with this thing. Is it Heavy Slam or Body Press? I mean, his defense is probably pretty high. Hmm. But then he's, he probably weighs a lot too, man. This is tough. I guess we're just going to have to experiment here. We'll go with a body press for first turn. Let's we'll see how that one plays out. Protect going to come out from the landers. I'm cool with that. I am totally cool with that. This thing is going to go for an astral barrage. It's going to block that. And I have protect raider roll. I have protect raider roll. Astral barrage is going to fly out here. How much damage are we going to chip away onto this cat? Onto this about the slot? Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. This thing just soaks it up all day. And Yvelta is going to go for a Snarl. And that definitely is going to take off my substitute. Oh, it hits through? Yo, what ability is this thing rocking? Wait a minute. Is this thing rocking Infiltrator? No way. No way. This thing's able to soak. Yo, that's crazy. We do get a crit. We do get a crit, but yo, that's crazy. I'm definitely going to check out his ability at for this one. This guy wins the battle. I thought we were sitting in a good position. Because if we had sub up, that could have been really, really good for us. But we're definitely going to have to run here. We're definitely going to have to run. It's GG's. Battle number one goes to our opponent. I'm definitely checking out the ability and letting you guys know what he had in battle number two. 
So before I actually started the rank battles, I clicked not to see the opponent's team, so I never got the chance to, but I was looking up Yveltas abilities on my other monitor, and he only has Dark Aurora, and I was like pretty sure about that. I was just like, how did he hit me through my substitute? So if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. I have no clue how. I really have no clue right now. Probably I'll do research after this, but you guys know more about this game than I do. So let me know in the comment section down below. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Kyogre team. But it's not like heavy meta, so I feel like we come out with a win and grab ourselves our first win for today's video. He also has a Salamence for Intimidate. Same thing with Intimidate onto that Incineroar. Then he has a Raichu with that uh, Volt Absorb. And the, uh, not Volt Absorb, Lightning Rod. And then he has the Roll Boom and the Excalibur. Okay, um... I think my child is a great lead again for the fake out, and he also has inner focus, so that is really, really good. And I could go Calyrex, so it can't be faked out. I just think it's wonderful. I just think it's a wonderful lead. I'm definitely going to rock out with them, too, and see how I can play with that. Um, he has no Trick Room, so Mudsdale, you're hanging out in the back here. We're going to bring Moltres, and I think Nihilego in our final spot. Just really, really strong, and I think it's going to work all around here. Let's get after it. Let's hop into our second battle and grab ourselves a win. Actually, I'm promising you guys a win here. I'm promising you guys a win, because I do not want to go down to Owen, too. Especially with a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Do not want to do that. Do not want to do that. Let's grab ourselves a win here. Let's grab ourselves a win here. I'm promising you guys that one. If I lose this battle, the channel is yours. You guys can have the channel. I will give out my password, all my information right to you guys, and you guys can upload whatever you guys want on the channel. Make sure to keep it Pokemon content, though. We've been rocking out with some Pokemon content, but <laughs> let's grab ourselves a win here. He's going to end up leading the Kyogre and Excalibur. Okay, I see you. I see you, big dog. I think just a fake out to easy onto the Kyogre slot. Roll out from there. Right. Even though he might protect. Still think it's play. I could sub up. That could be my play. I might actually do that. I think I'm going to fake out the Kyogre and sub up. That might be my play, my play, my play. My, 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 my play, my play, my play. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Sub up. Hit that fake out. Let's get, let's get trying to, let's try to roll out here. Let's try to roll out here and get started off strong here. He goes with the protect. We knew that coming, but we saw that. We still had the pose out there. I wasn't going for a big hard read. Fake out comes out. Blah. Block all day. What are we gonna do? We getting that sub up. We are gonna put out our little our little doll here, our little Tyranitar looking doll. This thing's gonna go for a knockoff. Hit up on my sub and take out my sub. Be honest with you. I'm gonna take out my sub. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Okay. Uh, could go for a wide guard here. Mm. What do I wanna do, man? That's tough. I could use my focus action. I could swap out. I don't like that knockoff. I mean, who goes first? That's the real question. Who does go first here? Because I will take a Calyrex death if that means we get a Kyogre death. I want it all day. I'm with it all day. Let me make sure, uh, yeah, close combat's are move here. Close combat's definitely move here. We're going to double down. We're doubling down. We should be able to outspeed that Kyogre all day. He's not Choice Scarf. So Astro Brash is going to fly through here. So I'll take a, I'll take a Kyogre death for Shadow Rider Calyrex death all day. All day. If we're even going to get it. We might not even get it with this close combat. Come on. Do him dirtier. Do him dirtier. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, yo. Close combat too good. It's such a strong move. It's just so good all around. We got our defense drops, but hey, we still have our focus hash. He's going to knock off onto my Calyrex again and take me out. Oh, no. He swaps. He goes on the other side like a clown. Like a clown. Maybe he thinks I'm protected. Nah, son. That ain't happening. Yo, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. So, so much for doing that. Cause we know we outspeed you all day. And I mean, he could go into... Actually, he can't go into anybody who could fake out. Only Pokemon I'm worried about is if he goes into Real Boom. And I think he is going to go into Real Boom just for that Grassy Glide. Let's see this dude's play. Let's see my man's play. Make a move, dude. But I think he thought I was going to protect my Calyrex, knowing that the knockoff's coming there. But I was just like, hey, yo, we can take a Calyrex death for the Kyogre death. But yeah, he does go into Real Boom. I don't like them, man. I don't, I don't like it one bit. So he's going to be able to Grass Glide and take out one of my guys. Unless I protect and go into close combat, but... Hmm. 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 Machine Spire. I'll put close combat onto you. Do I protect... The Calyx? Who do I think he's going after? I think he's grass gliding onto the my shell. I really do. And I cannot protect him. I'm gonna go for an Astro Brash here. I'm gonna go for a fake out. Wow, that was pretty stupid. That was pretty stupid of him. We are inner focus. Jeez, yo, this dude is a master tier two. 
this dude goes for the fake out on my on my inner focus. That's huge for us. Close combat's gonna fly. We all say bye bye next guy, but yo, my shell is ripping out here. He is ripping, dude. He is ripping. They end up going for the my shell. Well, that was just because fake out. You cannot fake out my uh, my, what's it called? My Calyrex. But dude, I, I like that all day. Poke guys were like, hey, we'll give you this one, jeans. <laughs> but he definitely should have been able to take out one of my Pokemon. Let's say he would have taken out my Calyrex, we would have taken out Excalibur, which I would have been cool with, and say he would have taken out my, my Shell, we still would have did big damage on both sides, but he probably would have taken out my, uh, my Calyrex there. Then it would have been down to a, uh, a 2v2 situation, which is totally fine, because I have my, uh, my Nihilego in the back end, who hits like an absolute truck, right? I have Nihilego. Yeah, oh my god, yo, oh my god, yo, yeah, we, we would have been thriving this whole match. But Close Combat's gonna fly through here, try to hit up on you, and then, I guess just an Astral Barrage again. But I can see his two cancel him. I actually hope he grass glides on. Oh, there it is. He canceled the battle. Promise you guys that win. We prevailed. We're sitting at one and one. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. It's okay, guys. I get it. I totally get it. It's the last battle for today's video. I know everyone's sad, but don't worry. There's plenty more content on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and catch our new videos when they come out. Make sure you do it. Are you subscribed yet? Thank you very much. But hey, we're up into our third and final battle here. Going up against very, very strong. Very strong, intimidating Kyogre team here. Just, just straight meta. Just straight meta. Tough to win up against, but I'm going to get this win for you guys. I'm going to get it for you. I promise. I promise. That's a Jean's promise. So, we get getting after this. This guy is Whimscop for Tailwind. Serene here to take away first turn priority moves. She also has the Cinderace, Rillaboom, and the Sableye. Dude, this is looking hard, man. It's looking real tough for us. Uh, how should I play out in this one? I think the, I just think the My Shao Calyrex lead is just super, super strong. Especially for the Y guards. Um, hmm. Let's go. Let's, let's do this. Let's go into these two. Um, he might lead the Serene over here to kind of cancel out my fake out. Which could be a power move. It really could be a power move. It's definitely scary. Uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, kind of want to bring Moltres here. And I think final spot, gotta be, gotta be Nihilego, right? It's gotta be Nihilego. Let's rock out with this one. Let's rock out with this one. But dude, he has so many potential leads that could be super, super scary. That could just do a lot of work onto me. It really can. Let's see. Let's see these dudes play. Let's see these dudes play. Kind of curious, because he can always have the screen in the back end to stop my fake out, just by swapping into it. He's going to go Wimscott into Cinderace. Okay. Uh, I'm with it. I'm with it. Um, I think I'd rather fake out the Cinderace. I honestly think I would rather fake out the Cinderace, even though a Tailwind could be devastating for us. I just think faking out the Cinderace is a little bit better, because he can take out my Calyrex in one shot, no problem. So I just think it is the play. He's probably rocking a dark move, so I'm just gonna do that and pop out. Let's see what it does. Or I could have went for a sub suit, because he's probably rocking sucker punch, man. I can totally see him rocking sucker punch. So I might protect next turn. It really depends if we can take him out with this. But I wonder what Whimsy's going for. This guy could taunt. Uh I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what this guy's gonna do. It's super tough. Big guys can come through here. We're faking out Cinderace over to Wimscott all day. Tailwind popping. No, he's not going to Tailwind. I dig it. I dig it. Astro Barrage going to fly through here. This could take out the uh, Cinderace, which could be big. It gets a kill on that and almost double kill this thing. Sash, we're going to get our, uh, our boost out here. What is that boost called? The, uh, not the Chilling Nay. It's the other one. The Grim Nay. The Grim Nay. There it is. There it is, baby. Give me my attack boost, baby. Give me my special attack boost. We're getting that. And he's, this thing's going to drop a straight Moon Blast. I probably triggered my focus sash, so yeah, I'm with that all day. With that all day. You got a sash, we got a sash. So, okay, who's he gonna bring out here? That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping he brings out Kyogre and he goes for a water spout and we just pop the wide guard. Kind of make a play with that. And right now, he doesn't have a tail. And here comes his next Pokemon. Is it Kyogre? It's gonna be really. It's gonna be really, 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 really boom. Uh, okay. They change up the surge. I might swap. Might swap, might protect. What, what, what do we want to do here? Hmm. But I want to swap the my shot. Just have fake out in later turn. Just have fake out in later turns. Could be big for us. I think fake out later could be huge for us. So I'm going to go into that. I might just protect this turn. Because I, I could see a grass guy coming in here. Let's see Grass Glide and a Moon Blast. But if he Tailwinds and then just goes to like Grass Glide, 
I think we just Astro Barrage here. I don't think we protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see his play. Actually, I was going to drop back. We just want that big out for later. Big out could be so big. It'll be super, super big. And a, and a wide guard could be big for later. And he is going to pop the tailwind. So he's going to pop the tailwind here. And what's he going for here? Fake out or Grace Glide? He's going to go for Glide. Easy eats, baby, all day. Moltres for a good swap. And Astro Barrage is going to be able to fly through here. Taking out the Whimsicott. And uh, doing some damage on the building. We got rid of two. That's big damage. That's some big damage, man. That's some big damage here. Grimnade's boosting out here. Um, so he has Tailwind. Kyogre's got to be his final mom. It's, that, that's an absolute must. I think we double protect him. We started out slowing down his Tailwind. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do here? What, do I, what does Jeans want to do here? Kyogre? Yeah, there he is. But I need my wide guard to pick up. Uh, bum how do I play this one? How do I play this one? We definitely protect. I kind of want to go for this air slash. Uh, who do I think is going to be able to eat more? Let's go into his air slash. Let's protect your Calyrex here. Let's protect your Calyrex here. Let's see how this one plays out. Protect comes out from Calyrex. This one's tough. I don't like how this one's looking. Grass guy's going to fly. We're going to get that block on this thing. And a water spout's gonna fly through here. Moltres, can you eat? I don't think he's eating. I don't think any of my Pokemon can eat up a water spout right now. Eat this. It's not happening, man. It's just not happening. Okay. Um. What's the play? What's the play? Bring out my shell. I told you we need this fake out later in the match. Bring out the my shell. Uh. Hit. Kyogre with the fake out, right? I think we, or he might protect. Or it could be choice. So we're just gonna go for the fake out. I'm just gonna go for Sasha Barrage. Definitely my play. This Calyrex should be able to eat up a grassy glide, I believe. Should be able to. I don't like this one bit. Don't like this one bit. Not one bit, man. This is so tough, dude. I know Tailwind ends soon. I think, I think if we go with this turn and protect next turn, Tailwind will end. Oh, but it's tough. Hopefully, I think it's choice so we can just fake it out. Because I don't see a grass guy taking out my Calyrex, right? That's going to be that's gonna be the side of factor. Is is this uh, grass guy going to be able to take me out? Here goes the glide. Who are you going after? It's up. Yeah, see, it's not taking me out. Yo, that's huge. That should be game. That should be game. Astro Barrage flies through. Plus two. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Get him out of here, yo. You think you're all strong, Kyogre? Get out my face, yo. You have a heavy meta team, top tier team, and we say, yo, you're done. We just dominated that one. I promised you guys that win, and we prevailed yet again, going 2-1 and, and grabbing you guys that winning record. I'm telling you guys, every time I promise you guys a victory, I'm going to get it for you guys. And that's exactly what we did in the past two battles. Made you guys a promise, prevailed on that promise, and got ourselves that winning record. But this team right here was super, super fun to play. The only thing I wish I could have done was play Mudsdale a little bit more. We did get him in in that first battle just a little bit, but he's very situational. He's really kind of here just to play off a of Trick Room. So if someone wants to roll a Trick Room, you bring him in the back end and you get him rolling out there because he's super slow. He hits pretty hard, so if he can outspeed in the Trick Room, he can be able to roll and pretty much bring you guys to victory. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.